Ryan Little. Come on. <laughs> here what's up guys so it's a little dark in my kitchen right now but I just got back from Trader Joe's it's been a minute I used to do these hauls all the time but I've been buying the same stuff you know haven't been that inspired to like make new recipes but now that it's like fall and winter I'm definitely down to try out new stuff but I have all of my groceries and stuff back here I do want to head out to Whole Foods in a little bit because there are things there that I want to get like kale stuff that Trader Joe's does not have so for the most part, this is what your girl will be eating for the rest of this week. I spent about $70, so that's not too bad at all. So let's go ahead and start with this bag. Of course, I bring reusable bags. I highly recommend it. It's great for the environment, so definitely get on that. I snatched these bad boys. These right here are so good. They're just a nice mix of sweet and salty. They are sweet potato chips really good when you want a netflix you know so i just got some of those i only got one bad chip thing so i'm pretty proud of myself the main reason why i had to go to the market was to stock up on all of my produce for the week i have run out of literally everything my fruit vegetable is empty so i got a little bunch of bananas to munch on i was gonna get apples but they did not look good today so hopefully i can find some over at whole foods I got a couple of bell pepper, red ones. I've been really into sauteing just all my veggies and then seasoning them with like different spices so it tastes different each time. So I'm really down for that for my dinners. Men down. Don't eat that. Why do you want to eat an onion skin? No, no, no. You wildin' out. I got two purple onions to cook with. It adds a lot of flavor to my stir fries. I also got a nice bag of unripe avocados so love that and i really needed to stock up the pantry with staples like beans i eat a lot of beans so my main source of protein is beans i love beans so much i can honestly eat like a whole can in one serving but for half a cup you get seven grams and i eat probably at least a cup so that's 14 grams per serving which is really good so i got two of those and i also love eating potatoes i can do so much with just a simple potato so it's like a baking potato that I got. These ones I've never tried. It's the organic Great Northern bean made with salt. It's just like white beans. I thought this would be good with some vegetables and then like some rice. I also picked up some flour tortillas. I love doing like a quick little wrap in the middle of the day for lunch. Throw some of those sweet potato chips on the side. If you have hummus, spread that on. Load up your favorite vegetables and like some mustard, some salt, some pepper, and you're good to go. Lettuce, spinach, all that good stuff. So these are just really good for like a quick lunch. Black pepper, cause your girl's running out. And then I got some brown mustard for my wraps. Adds a lot of good flavor to my raw veggies. And sometimes I don't even want to eat like a cooked meal. So I like doing salads and all that good stuff instead of like cooking every single thing. I just got some garlic. Ugh, oh my gosh. On to the next bag. Man, this lighting is driving me nuts. I'm so sorry guys. So I always tend to go through this stuff so fast, but it's so good. If you guys are looking to switch over to a dairy-free lifestyle, definitely recommend getting Earth Balance Butter. It is vegan and it's, I get the original. They have like a whipped version, but like, why do you need to get whipped butter? Just get the normal stuff. So this is what I always cook with. I'll put it on my toast, all of that. It's just so good. And then I was looking at all of the plant-based like patties and the meatless stuff I got to show you guys in the store. One thing that I really enjoy are these masala burgers. It's basically like a potato patty and it's just flavored with a bunch of Indian spices. So if you're looking for some flavor in your life and you're just sick of eating plain vegetables, get this because it's really good just to um, heat up on like a saute pan with a little bit of olive oil, make it nice and crispy, and then throw your veggies on the side with like some brown rice. It's so good, you guys, I swear. Organic tomatoes to have, I love having those on hand. And then I also wanna do a bunch of acai bowls and smoothies, so I just got the puree packets. I do have powder here, but I do like having the actual 
puree as well. It just has a lot more flavors. So I love getting these from Trader Joe's. They have a really great price for them. For my acai bowls, and I want to do like oatmeal in the morning. So I got these fancy, literally it says fancy. You see that? Berry medley. And then I want to do some stews and soups and stuff. So I just picked up some vegetable broth to cook with. I always stock up on corn. Love frozen vegetables because they don't go bad. You don't have to worry about them getting moldy and gross in the fridge. So frozen is always the best. And then the last thing in this bag is just some brown rice. Again, another essential that you guys know. I go through this stuff all the time. So love that. And then the last bag has a lot more produce in it. So spinach, I always buy greens and then I don't eat them. They just go bad in the fridge. So I need to stop spending my money on mixed greens and all that stuff and just stick to one thing. So I got spinach. I figured it'd be good to throw in my vegetable wraps. I could also do like mini spinach salads. I can throw it in stir fries and saute my vegetables together and put them in smoothies and stuff. So I know, RIP to all the greens that I let go bad in the fridge because I just refuse to eat them, you know? But I'm trying to eat more green vegetables. So with that being said, I also picked up some organic zucchini squash. I love doing like zucchini tacos. I have like taco stuff here already. It's just a nice variation and then really they take on any flavor that you cook them with. So they're a great vegetable to have on hand. I also got these meatless chicken. It's chickenless mandarin orange. Pieces. So I thought this would be good if I wanted to do like a takeout, but at home with some rice on the side Maybe throw in some broccoli or something. So I'll try these out. I've never had them before. They are marked as vegan So if you guys have ever had these let me know what you guys think about them I think it's nice that they have options like that available I got some mushrooms just to throw in to some stir fries and I also love doing my hash brown scrambles with just a bunch of vegetables in the morning instead of having like eggs, you know? You guys know this, I've showed this before in my What I Eat in a Day videos. And then I also got the chickenless crispy tenders, which I have had these ones before. I do like the garden ones as well. From my memory, the breading on these don't really take. Like when you bake them, the breading tends to come off. That's like the only negative, but they're really good when it comes down to like the flavor and stuff. And it's pretty nice just to be able to pick these up from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to have those this week. I'm going to make some homemade fries with those potatoes over there. I just got some more corn because we love it. And recently I've been really liking carrots. I just like to saute them with some olive oil and then some seasonings. And it's just really good. They just add a nice bit of flavor to your dish. And you know, you got to eat the rainbow. So I got a bunch of these. And last but not least, your girl had to get some bucha. So I just got the pink lady apple. I got four of these and that's it. And I'm so excited to eat. It's always the best feeling when you go to the market, you come home, your fridge, your pantry is all stocked and you just have so many options of meals. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas on what you can make with these little ingredients. And I'm so excited. I just feel like I need to listen to my body and that's what I always tell you guys. If you're feeling like you need to eat more greens, eat more greens. If you're feeling dehydrated, drink more water. If you're feeling like you're sluggish, you're tired, probably a sign that you need to eat more fruits and vegetables. So for me, whole foods are always great. I, you know, I don't really know how I feel about a bunch of these like processed fake meats. I mean, I think they're great when it comes down to protein, but really you can get all of your protein through your vegetables and your beans and the nuts and almond butters and stuff that you eat. So for example, these chicken tenders, there are three pieces and the protein in it is 11 grams, which isn't bad, but think about that. If you have a cup of beans, that's 14 grams of protein. So I don't know, these are great if you don't really have time or you want to have something fun. I don't really recommend eating these every single day, um, but for the most part, whole foods, healthy foods are the best way to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like me to do a what I eat in a day with some new recipes that I'll be making with this stuff. Also feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out on my channel and lets me know that you guys like to see more videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe. I don't know if I said that already. If you guys are just passing through, hello. I hope you guys take the time to join the dog gang by subscribing and clicking the bell next to it so you guys never miss a post. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,